what's up guys? Today I'm doing a video for a buddy of mine. This is his amplifier. He really wanted me to dyno it to check it out for him. So this is to you Danny. Here's your amp and we're gonna see what it does today. And this is a JP28-4 four channel amplifier. I'm sure you guys know what these are and have seen them around. So this is the silver version that Danny got here. So you got on this side, you got your one aught inputs, power, protect, and clip light, and your speaker outputs. And on the other side, We got all kinds of stuff going on. We got our four RCA inputs. We got our gain, our high pass crossovers and low pass crossovers for the front and rear channels. So pretty much every adjustment you'll ever need is right there. Pretty heavy, pretty beefy, feels pretty good. So this thing says on the box, it's at 284 watts at 4 ohm and 460 at 2 ohm and then 888 watts times 2 in 2 channel mode bridged into 4 ohms. So let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up and see what it actually puts out. Alright guys so we're going to start with the 4 ohm test. And this is certified so it runs up to 1% THD and then the readings stop. And this thing says 284 watts. So that's the number we're looking for. So let's see what happens. Oh wow, 390 watts. That's pretty crazy. That's pretty far over the 284. So, so far so good. Let's go ahead and try uncertified. All right, uncertified. This runs all the way up to clipping. three hundred and ninety four so that's pretty good that's a a lot over the 284 it says let's do a little dynamic dynamic burst which simulates the kick drum and music like rock music and whatnot All right, so 398 dynamic. It's kind of sticking right there, but man, that's a lot of power for a four channel. All right, well, let's go ahead and do the two ohm test. So here we go, two ohm, four channel. The specs say 460 watts. So far it's done very well. All right, so about 550 watts. So again, it's doing overrated. Not bad at all. Let's go ahead and do the uncertified test at two ohm. There you go, 624. Definitely got more out of it. This thing puts out a lot of power. Danny, you see that? I think this is gonna be more than enough 
for what you need, dude. Pretty cool. All right, let's do some uh, dynamic. All right, so here we go. We're gonna do some dynamic at two ohm and this will be the last test in four channel mode and then we're gonna go ahead and bridge it and see what it does in two channel mode. All right, it's about between 540 and 590. Dynamic burst. All right, so now we are in two channel mode and it's only stable at four ohms. So all these tests are just gonna be at four ohms and this is two channel mode. The box says 888. So let's see what happens. Wow, 1,076 on that one channel and 907 on the other. And the only reason there's a difference is because the gains aren't perfectly exactly set, which gets tricky to do. So that's pretty good, man. Box says 888 and it's doing right at about 1,000. So not too shabby. Let's try uncertified. Thousand seventy six and nine thirty seven. So this thing's putting out some juice. You can definitely use this to power a couple subs to uh, give each one a thousand watts. Not too bad. All right, guys, last test of the day. Dynamic burst on two channel mode, four ohms. Wow, so there you go, dude. <clears throat> 1200 watts dynamic. You can definitely run two subs off that, two four ohm subs. That's a decent enough power to where if you had some daily driver subs, you can definitely power two of them with this thing. So not bad at all. What do you think, Danny? Is this enough for power for you? What? And here's the back of this JP284 amplifier and it's got the typical plexiglass on the back so you can check out all the cool internals. It's got a lot of venting on the plexiglass which is good. Extra venting is always nice especially on a high power amp like this with no internal cooling fan. So but man looks super clean. No shocker here. Alright guys that's it for this one. If you're checking out this amp hope that was helpful seeing the numbers what it actually does so and Danny now you know what your amp actually puts out so pretty cool man if you guys like the content if you could like and subscribe I really appreciate it and I will catch you guys on the next one peace Kick it one time. dude what are you doing <laughs>